Hello everyone, this is Jay Dobbins of the Marvel DC Multiverse. We are now at episode 402, and I'll be discussing one topic, which is Black Panther Wakanda Forever. Unused Namor concept art shows a revealing new look. So, as fun as it is to see a character's evolution on screen... It's even more fun to see their evolution through concept art and how they were imagined to be. Fans get to see one evolution of the character Namor from Black Panther Wakanda Forever and never before seen concept art concept art from artist and Marvel animator Joshua James. The unused concept art invoked the look of the 1970s Namor as seen in John Romano Sr.'s comic issue Submariner number, issue number 67 and features Namor in his signature golden gauntlets and um, black and blue suit holding his golden staff and standing regally. Uh, while director Ron Coogler decided against this look and went with James Mayans inspired name one look instead. It's interesting to see how the Talakan ruler was initially imagined to look like. Namor is played by actor Tenak Huerta Mejia and um he was less than enthusiastic about the Speedo-like uh, shorts um, he had to don for the film. So this reaction carried over during the production of Wakanda Forever, where Hereta called his Speedo, sorry, called the Speedo his shame shorts, referencing the walk of shame he had to take to and from his onset trailer. Uh, costume reactions aside, Hereta stepped completely into the role of the character. No matter what costume he's wearing, whether it's the Speedo, the Mayan inspired costume, or the warrior look designed by Anthony Francisco. Namor the Submariner is one of Marvel Comics' oldest characters and has been uh, depicted as hero, villain, anti-hero throughout his comic history. But uh, made his Marvel Cinematic Universe debut in Wakanda Forever. In the movie, audiences have to decide whether Namor is the hero or the villain. And they are invited to both sympathize with him and wanted to keep his underwater kingdom safe, yet not like his decisions or methods such as wanting to kidnap and murder Riri Re Williams and, sense and senselessly drowning uh, Queen Ramona, Ramonda. The complexity of Namor's, sorry, the complexity of Namor has drawn comparisons to the complexity of Killmonger in Black Panther. In a review of Wakanda Forever by Collider's own Ross Bonane, he praised Hereta's performance as the as a character who is, and I quote, um, similarly trying to do just what is best for his country, and so end quote, and Coogler for making audience sympathizing sympathizing with Namor's viewpoint. And, and I quote, even if the extremism within that argument makes his choices innately questionable, end quote. Black Panther Wakanda Forever is coming to Disney Plus on February 1st and to 4K Ultra HD DVD and Blu-ray on February 7th. So you can take a look at... The unused Namor, Namor concept art on James' Instagram, of course. So, just so you know. Alright, so, that concludes uh, 
this topic, feel free to visit us and like us on Facebook. We are available on iTunes, Google Play Music App, Spotify, and of course, YouTube.